of Swiper, which is a UI on top of iSearch. As we all know, iSearch is the way to move around or the good way to move around a particular buffer in Emacs, unlike the other editors and IDs that encourage the use of mouse and moving your hand from the home row of the keyboard to the mouse and then coming back, then going back in, scrolling down with the mouse. That's discouraged with Emacs or any console or terminal-based editors like Vim because we rely on something called as the principle of motion economy which means that when you're doing some operations you need to reduce the amount of movement that you're doing. Now with Emacs you don't have an, a language to move around like Vim. For example in Vim if you want to go four lines down and move five words ahead, you would probably do something like 5J and 5W. Well, you can do a similar thing in Emacs as well, right? You you have the control U commands. So if you want to go five lines down or 14 lines down, you do something like control U, 14, control N, and you go 14 lines down. Um, the control and numeric keys are also directly mapped to something similar. For example, hitting control 9 is equivalent to control U9 and control P takes you up by 9 steps. So you do have a language like Vim for motion. However, the recommended way to move around is via iSearch, incremental search because you can really go to any part of the file if you know a particular thing that you're looking for. Whereas if you're doing the motion based mechanics, you, you perhaps have to like go page down, page up, then see the particular point we're interested in and then use the motion commands to get there. That can get slow. So use incremental search if you, if you know what you are looking for. Now, a thing about incremental search, especially in both Emacs and Vim, is that when you are doing those incremental searches, you have to actually, the movement or going to that place is, is not as, as intuitive as what I'm going to show you now. Right? This is a UI called a swiper, super intuitive. So first of all, you have to install Swiper, um, Google for it. You will find the instructions, um, Google for Swiper Emacs. This is done by a guy called Ebo Ebo. Uh, that's his uh, Git handle. I forgot what his name is, but really good work uh, that he has done with, with Swiper. Okay. So I'll, I'll give a quick demo of how Swiper works. I have mapped Swiper to Control S, which is the incremental search. So if I hit Control S, I'm basically invoking Swiper I search. As you can see, the UI has popped up. Let's say I want to see, you know, places where I'm using this word impact. Okay, so I search for impact, and and you can see right here in the screen the various place where impact is being used and this makes it very easy to move around right I don't have to you know incrementally search forward or incrementally search backward to get to the line that I'm interested in it's, it's right here so I do like a control R to go back or control S S to go front which is uh, which is the same thing you would do if you're like doing an ice search forward or an ice search backward now I know that this is here I just you know, hit enter and I go to that point. So as you can see, the advantage with this was when I did a control S and did an impact, I had an idea about how many times I had to do like a search back or a search forward because in the line, I can directly see how impact is being used. So therefore, it's faster for me to know where I want to go. 
so let's say you know i i want to go to the impact that's present four lines up right i I'd probably do something like there you go i'm i'm there right i basically did a control u and number of times i want to go back just four or five and then i did a control r it takes me back right now in the left hand side you can see it's three out of eight so it just i got the third one come off the total eight right so let's say i want to go to the first one so i have to go back by two so i do something control two and r and yeah i'm at the first one right a super super intuitive super easy to use I'm loving it. I definitely suggest you all to give it a shot. I have replaced Helm with Swiper. Helm is a beautiful tool of its own, but um, I'm just trying out Swiper just to see how how it feels, how's the UI, how's the speed, how's the experience. So far, it has been brilliant. So do give it a shot. I hope you'll like it, and I hope you found this video useful.